One of the most questions I get on YouTube is what LUT or LUTs do you use? Well, instead of just telling you what I use, I'm gonna show you what I use. And the greatest thing about it is it's totally free. If you have DaVinci Resolve, then you get it for free. Um, if I had a choice of only one LUT, this LUT would be it. So I have a footage here in DaVinci Resolve 14. It was shot in a GH5 Vlog firmware 1.0, not the 2.0, this is 1.0, Barcelona. Let's go ahead, right click, click attributes, change it to cinema scope because it is anamorphic. Let's go ahead and go to our edit, go to the gear here in the bottom right, change this resolution to 3840 by 1600. That's gonna give you a 2.4 aspect ratio. And if you don't know how to do all this, I have a DaVinci Resolve tutorial beginner's guide that I'm still working on actually. So. Um, if this is too fast for you, just go back to my channel and check out the videos. So I dragged and dropped this footage in the timeline. Perfect. Let's go ahead and play it real quick. Oh, that Ryzen Threadripper and GTX 1080. That's awesome. So let's go to the color tab now. So now we're in the color tab. I'm going to create two nodes, Alt S, Alt S. The reason why is I don't apply my LUTs in the first node because I'm going to show you. In the middle node, I'm going to right click. 3D LUT, Airy, Airy Alexa, Log C to Rec 709. This is probably ugh, the most amazing free LUT ever. And there you go. Just like that, I'm gonna turn on my scopes. Just like that, you get contrast from a log image. And look how amazing that looks with one click, right? I know it's not perfect. So let's go ahead and go before, log, after. I mean, I know the exposure was really good I mean, you can see it's kind of in the middle. That's really good exposure. We didn't crush a lot of blacks or crush a lot of highlights. So it's good to begin with. It helps that way. That's why it looks great with just one click, but we're obviously gonna fine tune this. So in the node before, I'm gonna go to this color wheel and I'm gonna change my log here. And this is where I can fine tune it a little bit more. Now be careful when you're doing this because little bit, a little bit of change is gonna make your footage look really freaking weird, okay? So just, when you're changing log instead of primary wheels, make sure you're very careful. So in this one right here, what I'm gonna do is change the offset, and I'm gonna drag that down, and you're gonna see what that's doing, okay? I'm not gonna drag it down so much that it's gonna crush it like that. I mean, if you're going for that, that's cool. But for me, I still want some detail there, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next, all right? That's a good spot. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not a freaking colorist whatsoever. I'm just a YouTuber just like you. So yeah, I don't know all these professional ways. This is just the way I do it. So on the third node, we're gonna change this to primary wheels. And now we're gonna go ahead and slide that down. I'm not gonna put everything to zero because zero is pure darkness, okay? We want a little bit more detail there. If we right click, show picker RGB value, we shouldn't be seeing zeros. You know what I mean? You should have a little bit of numbers there, 11, 14, nine, whatever, that's great. And then the highlights as well, it's obviously the brightest part is my shirt. We don't want that to be blown out as well. So that's when you park your, your shadows and your highlights. There you go. Now this is a dynamic shot because it was moving. So the darkness, the dark areas changes, okay? But just like that, in like two minutes, you get a really nice footage with the Airy Log C to Rec 709 LUT that you get for free with DaVinci Resolve. 